Hello there YouTubers and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Tonight I want to show you my main stereo system, the way it has been for about half a year now. Set this up after I painted my room. So that's about half a year ago. Just added, recently added this Luxman cassette deck. That's probably gonna go again. So uh, let's see what we have. I have a pair of speakers. I bought those new back in 2005. Let's take a look at the model number. Canton LE102S. Very nice speakers. Now just in case you wonder, this is some docking station for wireless headphones, which I modified. Now they are non-wireless headphones are lying over there. I have them hooked up to my computer because my computer headphones are broken. After a pair of those. Anyway, um, next along we have the plastic reel-to-reel, -reel, the Philips model N7150, which for as long as you have clean heads and a good tape uh, proved to be very reliable. No problems with this one. Sounds pretty good. And one thing I really like about this one is it has this lid. Now all of you owning reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders may know that problem when the reel is kind of messed up and the tape slides across the you know the side parts of the reels. You get those nasty squeak 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 noises and I really can't think of anything that's more annoying than that so I really like having this lid because I can close it and then that nasty noise is a lot quieter. Next along we have my Technics model SL23A record player which is still working, still working perfectly. I tried swapping the cartridge of the Technics with the cartridge in the Sitachi record player, but uh, that didn't work. I just swapped the head shell and um, hmm. not good, not good. There we have uh, the Onkyo model TX7740 receiver and this is what's going to be changed this night. Uh, I'm going to swap this with a Kenwood amplifier um, simply because I don't need a receiver. I really don't need a receiver because I don't listen to analog radio anymore. If I listen to radio, I'm listening to the internet radio. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I, I actually don't even have an antenna hooked up to this receiver anymore. So I just don't need it. So, have an uh, Kenwood amplifier, which technically is slightly better than this uh, receiver. So, I'm going to see how it sounds, and if it sounds better, or as good, um, I'm going to keep that. Another advantage is that uh, the Kenwood has two tape monitors. The Onkyo has only one. And... Um, well, the Onkyo has more uh, more inputs and outputs, but uh, anyway, underneath of that we have my favorite cassette deck. Still, after all those years, I bought this one at the flea market back in two thousand nine, I think, in the summer of two thousand nine. It's um, no, no, what what am I saying here? Two thousand eight, that was. <laughs> had this cassette deck for an age now and it has done a lot of recordings and it's still working. <laughs> See the JVC KDV6 really nice cassette deck. Three heads it's currently just monitoring the source and uh, the source is the Onkyo Onkyo Integra Model TA2750. Also a nice cassette deck. Very high quality and very reliable. And uh, that is playing, as you can see. 
display looks white on the camera, but in real life it's green. Maybe able to see that. Anyway, underneath of that we have the Luxman model K405 auto reverse cassette deck. Just recently added this thing, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Um, actually, because I didn't have enough inputs, I had to wire up this little homemade selector box, input selector box, which I found at the dump some years ago. So uh, I can now either have the Luxman cassette deck or my Move It. Um, internet radio receiver and yes I still remember I wanted to make a presentation of this one and uh, hopefully I'll get around to actually do that in the next days we'll see <laughs> actually I've been wanting to make a presentation of this one for for a year now oh my just never got around to it and then last but not least we have the Onkyo model DX6640 CD player which unfortunately doesn't have a remote receiver is also missing the remote because of course I got those two at the dump so I'm using this um, programmable universal remote control um, which works but it's not a perfect solution and I always have to carry that round because I'm also using it for my Panasonic VCR over there so hmm. not too much of a great solution and uh, well there we have my huge record collection I have about a thousand records now and absolutely no time to listen to them I'm afraid to say Red box contains empty cassettes. Have a huge box with uh, new old stock and new, um, I, I mean, um, sealed uh, cassettes. Lots and lots of cassettes. These are some microphones I have. And um, there are some more records. There is my reel to reel tape collection and uh, there is the CD collection with uh, even more tapes down there and um, well <laughs> yeah Dr. Cassette <laughs> And, uh, well, Dr. Cassette is saying bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this video, and see you again soon. I'm going to give you a fade-out. Here we go.